Hello ladies and gentlemen welcome to Triple N Media in this presentation we are going to look at some tips and tricks i have learned using webex for webinars i have signed into my account and here let's click on this button start a meeting when we click on this button it will ask us to open cisco webex meeting so let's click on that one and now it is going to show up my video as you can see uh, you can see my picture here and here is a button for settings where we can check for the audio levels uh, that is being used by the cisco webinar software we can also test the audio here I'm sorry the microphone is the outgoing line which other people can hear and speaker test is the audio coming to us uh, from others uh, other people so that seems to be okay now our video is working all right if your audio for some reason is not working you can dial in a number using your cell phone and other people also can dial into this number so you can just use the video part of the webex for the webinar conference however when you do that the audio may not be recorded when you record the video we'll talk about that in a couple of minutes so when these two things are set up we are going to press start the meeting and here we're going to see several other uh, icons and let's go through them we already talked about microphone here this is representing my microphone i can mute this microphone if i want to and of course we can block off the video uh, uh, if i block off the video you don't see anything here and if i turn on the video you can see my video window here here's an important thing where we can share anything on the screen so i have several uh, windows open i can just click on this particular any particular window i want to share and it will show the screen that we want to see when we no longer want to share the screen we just come up to the top here where it says you are sharing two participants and you just press stop sharing and it will ask you to confirm that you press the button stop sharing then you are back to your screen if you have more than one participant you can see their icons here and you can also have a note here where it will show the names of all the people who have logged on to your account let's look at uh, and this is the record button i am going to cover this part recording session in the next video because uh, there are quite a few important things that we need to be aware of before we start the recording otherwise your whole recording could be useless now let's close this window for right now uh, let's look at the participants and when you click on that button participants uh, i am logged in here we can also invite guests to come and join us for this particular webinar which you do hopefully in advance in order to do that we go to the next here if you want you can also add a chat box here where you can communicate with them using a chat box and here are three dots uh, which shows a lot of different options Uh, one we can invite and remind people like here i can click the name here you enter the email address of the people you want to invite and that will invite them to join the meeting once you add their names and you press the send button it will remind them that they have an invitation to join your meeting and they can join your meeting that's one of the options uh, i would like you to keep in mind and you can also send a reminder like 10 minutes before the meeting for them to get their computer up and be ready to join the meeting let's look at some other options here you can also copy the link of this meeting and post it on your social media or you can send it to other people by e blast so they can watch the meeting as it is unfolding in real time 
So that's one of the options that we have. As we go down, of course, we can check the speaker, microphone, and camera. And as you can see, my audio is working here. And of course, the speakers are also working. That means you are all set for both audio and video broadcasting. All right, let's see what else we can determine here. And there are a few other options. You can minimize the icon by clicking on this one. Uh, let me close this one and let me show you a few other options. When you click end meeting, it will completely end the meeting. Let's go up here. Here you can click on this little circle which has all the details of this particular meeting along with the meeting number, the toll free number for people to call in if they are not able to log on to the video session. And here is the link to this particular meeting. So the whole thing can be copied and sent to all the members in your group for logging on to the meeting site so that they can watch the meeting or if they have any email invitation, they can actually be the guest on your meeting. So that's as far as that little circle is concerned. A lot of times we may not be able to see those circles, but that's why I want to show this. And here's the file option where you can open and share a document. Let's say you want to share a PDF or you want to share a Word document. You can open the document and share that document. Also, here's another place where you can end your meeting. This is editing. I never use it. I can change the font size. And of course, sharing is about sharing your screen or the different windows on your computer which are open. And this is where you get a few items about uh, participants. You can mute yourself or you can mute any one of the guests on your list. And next is meeting. And this meeting, can we, we can start recording this meeting uh, we can set recording to the cloud or to the computer. And in the next video, I'm going to talk about what are the differences. All right. So these are some of the buttons that are on this particular uh, webinar screen. And here it shows that your microphone is working and you are connected. You are live and you can also see your video. So this is in a nutshell, going through all the different uh, buttons and icons and hidden keys where you can optimize your presentation as you invite the guests to your webinar. I hope this has been useful to you and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for your attention and please, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. We will see you next time.